Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Deen and Chai and Ramadan Mubarak. It's day one of Ramadan. It feels like we just finished last Ramadan and we are now already in another Ramadan, subhanAllah. Let's talk a little bit about setting intentions. In Islam, a big concept is about our intentions and the sincerity in our intentions before doing tasks. So let's talk a little bit about our intentions for this Ramadan, inshallah. Why are we fasting in these 30 days? Is it just because everyone else around us is doing it? Or is there a bigger intention behind it? So let's talk a little bit about that. Allah has prescribed fasting on us. So one intention, inshallah, that we have for this month is to fulfill that obligation to Allah. In the Quran, he tells us that he has prescribed fasting on us, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you may attain taqwa, which is God consciousness. So he tells us that fasting is a means of attaining God consciousness. Why is that? When we are fasting, we are not eating and drinking and so on. And every time we see food in front of us and can't have it or our stomach grumbles and we can't eat, we are reminded that we are fasting. And therefore we are reminded of Allah because we remember that we are fasting, we are doing this, this thing for Allah's sake and therefore we can't eat or drink that thing that we might see in front of us. And so that behavior of constantly reminding ourselves throughout the day of what we are doing makes us conscious of Allah every time we see food, every time we're hungry, and so on. At the same time, we also, it is a month where we collectively try to increase our worship activities. We try to be more intentional. We try to be more mindful in what we are doing. And it's something that we are doing collectively together. So we are reminded together of Allah, whether it is going to the mosque for taraweeh prayers, or breaking iftar together, or praying extra, getting up for suhoor, reading more Qur'an, all of these activities that we strive to do more of in this month is a means for us to attain that God consciousness. We are, inshallah, in this month more God conscious of Allah in our activities. And therefore, through fasting, inshallah, we become more conscious of God. And hopefully, inshallah, we carry that outside of Ramadan as well. So inshallah, we have that intention as well that we want to become more God conscious and we want to improve our connection with Allah and we want to grow closer to Allah inshallah. So we set that as our intention as well for this month inshallah. And the last thing that I wanted to bring up is having the intention of actually coming out of Ramadan as better versions of ourselves. So what does this mean? This means somehow coming out of Ramadan better than how we entered it. We don't want to come out of Ramadan and then just revert back to how we were before Ramadan was and nothing has changed. We want to come out with something better. So let's try to make the intention, inshallah, this month of finding one thing, one small simple achievable thing that we want to improve on inshallah and and keep this between you and allah inshallah pick one thing small easy something you're sure you can achieve inshallah that you want to do on a daily for example that could be maybe outside of ramadan you don't pick up the quran so maybe your one thing that you want to do is actually pick up the quran every day so pick something that is very achievable maybe you say i want to read one page of quran a day or even one verse i just want to read one verse and reflect on that one verse nothing is too small because that one small thing if you are doing one verse a day and before that you were doing zero, then that is a big improvement. That one 
thing inshallah so pick something small nothing is too small pick something small that you are sure you can achieve inshallah and something that you feel you have interested interest in so that inshallah you follow through with it and Another example is maybe once a week you want to attend some sort of Islamic gathering, whether it's a, a lecture or, or something in the mosque or something online, whatever it is, maybe there's once a week you want to do something that is connected to learning and so on. So everyone can be different. Maybe even it's just being artistic. Maybe you are good at art and once a week you want to create a piece of art that actually reminds you of Allah. Maybe it has some form of dhikr in it or a reminder or a verse or something that you create and you have inshallah displayed so that you can be more God conscious and reminded of Allah more. So really pick something that fits your interest inshallah so that you're more likely to follow through with it and also pick something that is super easy and achievable again so that you're more likely to follow through with it inshallah so make that intention let's try to make that intention this month that we want to find one thing and carry that one thing outside of ramadan inshallah so that we actually come out of ramadan as better versions of ourselves inshallah and there's multiple layers of intentions that we can have this Ramadan. So let's really sit down and think about what our intentions are for this month. Getting closer to Allah, fulfilling our obligations, improving ourselves, anything else that we feel that we need to work on. And this is going to be different for everyone. You can have multiple intentions, inshallah. Identify the things you want to improve on, you want to work on. And let's really make sure that we start off Ramadan with intentions inshallah because once we have those intentions inshallah the beautiful thing about Islam is that inshallah if we have those intentions maybe we don't end up following through with them but at least we get the reward for having those intentions inshallah and also having those intentions inshallah makes us more likely inshallah to follow through and inshallah having those intentions allah makes it easy for us to follow through with those actions inshallah so that's it for today let's just take a moment to really think about our intentions for the next 30 days so that we really can make the most out of ramadan and come out of ramadan as better versions of ourselves inshallah may you have a blessed and beneficial ramadan inshallah assalamu alaikum